Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out the demo for Pikmin 4. Uh, I love this series. Um, <laughs> I first played, I think, Pikmin 2 uh, on the Wii. It was actually a GameCube game, but you could play GameCube games on the Wii, so that's how I started playing the series, and I really like it. Um, I played Pikmin 3, which I didn't like quite as much as the first two. Um, they changed up the control scheme a bit, basically, and... I didn't love how it was different from the GameCube control scheme. Uh, in particular, the right stick just became camera control instead of, uh, like, moving your Pikmin around, which was a lot more interesting to me. Uh, which was a kind of, kind of disappointment. Um, I don't really know a lot about what's in this one, apart from it's a Pikmin game, uh, and hopefully it's better than Hey Pikmin for the 3DS, which was dreadful. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just going to dive in and have a little look at this. Uh, if you're not familiar with Pikmin, it's essentially it's Nintendo's very um, idiosyncratic, strange take on the real-time strategy genre. Uh, you play as these little alien captains uh, who walk around with a little army of these... Uh, you can see the little colourful, like, plant people. Those are called Pikmin, and you have an army up to, like, a hundred of them that you lead around and have them solve tasks for you and stuff. Um, essentially, it is a real-time strategy game, but it's very different to most real-time strategy games. And it's really good. <laughs> uh, let's see how this demo goes. Uh... Yeah, yeah, like, I played Pikmin 2 on the GameCube first, and with that one, like I was saying, the C-Stick was used for what's called warming, which is like, you push the stick up, all of your Pikmin surge forward and, uh, like, attack or whatever, and you can pull it back to have them retreat and things like that. Pikmin 4. Uh, but you can't do that in Pikmin 3 because this stick is just camera control. Uh, instead you've got a mechanic called charging, you press X and all your Pikmin just swarm forward when you press that button, but there's no way to, like, get, get fine control of where exactly your swarm goes, uh, which I didn't like. <laughs> anyway, this is the demo of Pikmin 4. It says press any button underneath my face, so I'm going to. Uh, I can't remember all the names of the enemies, but that guy spits fire. <laughs> uh, a lot of the enemies have um, creative names, let's say. Uh, story? This is on, this is all under my face. Uh, I might move my face. Looks like over this corner might be a bit better. There we go. Rescue- so we've got story mode. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of Pikmin in this epic adventure. Dandori battle. Put your planning skills to work and manage the clock in this fierce competition that can be enjoyed solo or with two players. So is that the competitive multiplayer? It sounds like it might be. Uh, the previous games have had competitive multiplayer. It's been like split screen in Pikmin 2, I think, and I think there maybe is an online uh, competitive mode in Pikmin 3. I'm not sure. I focused mostly on the on the story mode. Uh, okay, co-op mode exists. What have we got in settings here? I really feel that saying normal and inverted doesn't tell you anything because you don't know which way normal is. It it, it should use like some graphic or something to say if you push the stick up then the camera will move in this direction, but I'm not sure how you would do that in a way that's intuitive. Uh, radar map. There's a bunch of settings in there. We're gonna look at the controls here. I'm getting the impression that this game has the same, um, charge mechanic from Pikmin 3, which is a little disappointing. There's a possibility I can mess with that, though. Let's see. If I change it to quick, what happens? Uh, no, I didn't change that. Hmm. Alright, well, let's start, let's start the story and see what I think. To complete this demo, you can receive special rewards in the Smart Device app Pikmin Bloom. Scan the QR code below for further details. Okay, I don't really care. I don't play Pikmin Bloom. I think it's fairly similar to Pokemon Go, but with Pikmin, but I haven't played it. The demo version is complete once you collect, uh... 1500 units of sparkly and finish exploring for the day. You can import your save data from the demo to the full version of the game. Okay, sparkly is a thing from Hey Pikmin, the 3DS game I mentioned that's bad. So that's a concerning thing to see in Pikmin 4. 
ba basically, when you collected treasures in Pikmin 4, they became sparkly, and which was, like, energy to power your ship. Um, but, not Pikmin 4, in, in Hey Pikmin. Uh, it sounds like it's a bit like that. Uh, how many players are there? Just me. Just me. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. It sounds like the co-op mode is kind of like in Galaxy, where player 2 sort of just has a cursor and can manipulate the game with that. Uh, which is pretty neat. I preferred um, Odyssey's co-op, where player 2 gets to control Cappy and tell her what to do separately, and you can break the game with it. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make out what language he's speaking. <laughs> Captain Olimar is the protagonist of the first Pikmin. I think that's what we're seeing now. Yeah, this is basically summarizing the original game. I'm not sure if the voiceover is just in Japanese or if it's like something that sounds a bit like Japanese. <laughs> I think I'm making out the syllables. Okay, that uh, plant dog or whatever was not a thing in Pikmin 1, so I guess this is a slightly different version of the story. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Olimar's people are extremely tiny. So most of the stuff you find that's gigantic is like normal household objects and things like that. You're not normally in an actual house though, this is new. You're usually in like a forest or something that just happens to have like regular sized human objects in it that are giant gigantic to you. Doggy. <laughs> Wait, am I playing as the doggy? Oh, I'm riding the doggy. Okay. It says find the ship parts under my face. I don't know if I'll need to move my face. We'll we'll see how we do. Okay, so yeah, camera control is on the deep is on the right stick, which is not ideal. Uh you can pull the camera behind you with ZL. Um, that was the only camera control in the older games. You had to use the left trigger to pull the camera behind you. Kind of like an Ocarina of Time. Uh, you couldn't otherwise turn the camera. Uh, but that worked out really well, I think. I seem to look for Pikmin. Uh, because of the way that game worked and having swarming on the right stick, it felt really good.
Okay, I think this is new. I don't think nouns were a thing in previous games, but I may have just been not, not be remembering it. Get the whistle to catch, like, tell Pikmin to come to you. That's a pretty normal thing. You can, like, whistle them out of danger and stuff like that. And basically bring them back into your swarm, which is always good. Gordon Long, is that, like, a save thing? Okay, I'm still riding the doggy. I assume this won't be the case for the whole game, because that's not a very regular Pikmin thing. It is a bit strange. Uh, the different colours of Pikmin are relevant because they have different powers. Red ones are usually the defaults, they're like fireproof. Uh, the blue ones can swim, none of the other kinds can, and the yellow ones are immune to electricity. friends. Okay, rushing isn't really a good way to move around faster because of the cooldown and stuff, but it's nice to have. Okay, that's an enemy. Uh, let's not go that way just yet. Let's get a few more picks first. You couldn't really jump in the previous games. That's a new thing. Uh, so there might be more platforming mechanics than there used to be. is full of Pikmin. Oh, we can track ship parts with the doggy. Oh? Okay, I can see there's a scent, but I want to go this way. Because I can see more Pikmin over here. I'm going to gather them all back up. Normally they would, like, walk around with you rather than ride on your doggy like this. Uh, I assume that will happen. <laughs> See you guys. What are you doing down there? I assume it still maxes out at 100. It may have increased. I'm not sure. This is the first um, Pikmin game made for the Switch, so the hardware is a little bit more powerful. Uh, but Pikmin 3 was made for the Wii U, which probably would have been roughly the same. I don't know the exact numbers. Okay, 
Okay, I think we're more or less equipped at this point. Oh, there's more picks over there. Gotta keep looking. Seven is a decent number. There's some more up there. How do they get up there? Twenty two. Okay, this thing looks kind of threatening. Okay, so we need to look for spots that aren't spiky to attack it. Pikmin have very little health, by the way. Oh, no, don't. Uh, they will die from, like, any attack, basically, so you have to whistle them back pretty quickly if you don't want them to get killed. So I guess this is an extra part of Pikmin 1's story that they've inserted in. That didn't happen in the original game? Maybe? I don't really know what to make of this. Because, yeah, the interstellar radio is not a thing you got in the original. All of mine did not send in a sort of signal. Also, the dog wasn't a thing. So, <laughs> Okay, so are we going to play as the rescue corps? Is that the idea? Looks like the ship is the one from Pikmin 2. At least it's a very similar design. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm playing as a rookie at the rescue corps. Rescue the rescue corps. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Oh, I can design my own character in this one. Oh, that's new. Uh, yeah, I'm super pale. That'll do. Oh, okay, okay. I like that one. The only one with glasses is going to be that one. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so in every previous game, you're playing as existing named characters. In this one, you make your own OC at the beginning. Oh, and it says they. Interesting. Okay, okay. I'm not that an experience, I play Pikmin too. 
<laughs> I assume my ship isn't going to crash. That would just be silly. There I am. Friend? <gasps> Puppy! Watch the puppy. Okay, the friend over there. Damn, these dogs are strong. I need one to do this. Mm. Yes, it's a watch. Hello. New path. Are? Mohei. Hi, Colin. So we've already rescued one of the rescue corps, and I don't have any Pikmin yet. That's interesting that they haven't started with that. Um, like in the previous games, you would get multiple captains and you could switch between them to manage multiple squads, basically. Uh, but it looks like in this one, you're getting team members before you have any Pikmin, rather than partway in. Interesting change. Unless it's just a dem the demo and the full game is different, which is entirely possible. Oh no! A present? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Looks like it doesn't count as part of my squad. Oh, there's the ship. We found it. Oh, where is Tiny? Oh, I think we can dig here? Dogs are great at digging, you know. That's what I said. In different wording. Get 
each jig has a little controller. They're using the HD Rumble. Pretty cool. Let's do it. Before I do, let's go up here. Oh, I can't. <laughs> so jumping in holes like this was a big thing in Pikmin 2. Uh, it didn't really come up in 3. It looks like they brought that feature back. Um, basically these are like sub-dungeons. Um, in Pikmin 2 they were randomized in layout. In this game, maybe not? Oh, I still don't have any Pikmin. That's really interesting, considering how far into the game we are at this point. Like, it's been like half an hour and we haven't got Pikmin in the beginning of the game. Uh, there's some enemies. Oh, and there's another rescue member. Hello. Oh, you're Captain Shepard. Hi, Shepard. I can see she's surrounded by creatures. I'm just looking for a way to get past them. Oh, okay, so I have to I have to take out the, the little buggy things first. Alright, I can do that. I figured I had to go get some Pikmin to fight them, but I guess not. It also looks like you can't attack as just a captain in this game. Um, in the previous games, you could punch, which wasn't very good, but it was something. Oh, I like her design. She's cool. Aww. I like her. Copy that, huh? Big bad man reference. <laughs> That's me! Oh, rescue journal? Okay. I wonder if everyone else has the same colour of uniform as me, like, by design, if it depends on what I picked, or if they're always green. Okay, um, we get, we get a little map of the cave if we bring up our tablet, which is always nice. Okay, and you fell down there, and this would be the way out. There used to be a fan underneath, can we use that? Okay, 
Okay, it looks like the rush thing Oachi can do is just part of the game, because it's giving me a tip about it here. Like, it's just always active, I guess? It's at least if Oachi's in your, in your party, maybe he won't be sometimes. Really interesting, this introduction wow. as the play main player characters. Like, I haven't done anything involving manipulating Pikmin oh, yet. Man. Apart from whistling at them as Olama, but, like, that's not really part of the main game. I know what I'm doing. Relax. Mm. Decent shape? I don't know what she's supposed to look like. Okay, so in this one you collect treasures, uh, just like Pikmin 2, which I liked, so that's promising. Um, in Pikmin 1 you were getting ship parts, they were your collectibles, parts of the ship that Olimar like, already knew about and what they were and stuff. In Pikmin 2, you were trying to pay off a debt, so you're trying to find valuable treasures, which were real life objects, like batteries and toothbrushes and random crap, basically. In Pikmin 3, uh, you're trying to feed your people, so the items you collect are gigantic fruits, uh, because they eat fruit juice. I didn't like that as much, uh, but just having fruit rather than lots of different objects. It sounds like this one might be going back to the Pikmin 2 style, with lots of different treasures. Oh, my ship's called the SS Beagle? That's cute. That's sparkly. We just have the ship fly up there and get it. <laughs> I, I know how we're going to do it. We're going to get some Pikmin, but it occurs to me that we could probably do it that other way. Oh my god, it's a GVASP. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. No. Okay, so Doggo counts as three. Uh, that number at top is the number of Pikmin you need to move the thing. Uh, nearly everything you move in the game will have a number like that. Uh, but we're gonna need some more Pikmin. By which I mean any Pikmin. Uh, and when to do that, we're gonna head over here to the onion. I'm guessing he's gonna set it up in the big circle next to the little one. Oh, or it'll set itself up in that spot. With that, we have our Pikmin. Exactly one of them. At the Pikmin. <laughs> oh. It is a Pikmin. That's what I said. I'm not sure why they're explaining things this slowly. Um, possibly because they figure people didn't play Pikmin 3 because it was a Wii U game. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that complicated, really. Like Pikmin with LNR. Yeah, I can switch. You can see in the bottom right there, I can have a Wachi or one of my Pikmin selected. And one of the things about Pikmin is you can... Gets them to make more Pikmin. Like getting these things. These are called pellets. Uh, they can also uh, pick up things like enemy corpses and stuff and take them to the onion, which will also produce more Pikmin. Ah, two. Usually a pellet with a one on it would give you one Pikmin, so that's interesting. Or I'm just misremembering how the game works. Oh yeah, and once you start plucking, you will automatically walk to nearby Pikmin, and, unless you cancel it. Oh, interesting. So we actually can get those, it's just you wouldn't have an onion to take them to until you get the Pikmin. Can I turn off some of these tips on the screen? I know how to play. Can I like simplify things a bit? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Like, I know what the buttons do. I've played Pikmin before. <laughs> there you go. Got seven of them now. Uh, you're gonna need to dig, because that's buried. Uh, or not. Right. Looks like it needs digging. That's it not letting me dig. Yeah, there we go. Digging. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, so that looks like a... a two-tined fork of some kind. Let's go with the treasure is. The treasure collected. Um. Mm, it might tell me at the end of the day. Part of the fun of Pikmin is that um, 
these characters are like needing to identify what all these earth objects are um despite you know having never seen them before uh and they usually come up with like ridiculous names and stuff which is quite fun and ridiculous descriptions to go with them of course I don't know how many picks that's going to take. Oh, five. Yep, you can do that. You can see you can have more than the minimum, uh, which will make them carry it a little bit faster, which can be helpful, of course. You can't really control what path they take when they're carrying things. It, they may go a bit of a roundabout route, but it's not a big deal, really. A bell or something? Honey. I'm guessing we may get access to jumping later, because I can't get up this tiny little ledge here, but there is, like, stuff up there. bring this now. Yeah. I'm curious what they think it is. Didn't want to say copy that. I'm messing with them. Working. Hello, hello. Yori da. No. Noble Bident, Path Creator, and Stone of Advancement. Can I get information about them as well as their names? You, you usually can get a description as well. I might need to go to a different menu. It's a little strange that we're not flying off the planet at night. Um, in the previous games, you had to be off the planet at night because really tough monsters would come out. Uh, but I guess the ship isn't repaired enough to do that yet. Yamo? 
아니로 아베 너 백주 빠뜨죠 어? 뭐래 뭐임 루페 Ponyanong Tish Nipple Patro Yeah, let's go to Sunsparkle Terrace. I might have laid things out a bit differently. In the previous games, um, you would pick where you wanted to visit that day while you're in space. You wouldn't come down to the base first. But I guess we weren't in space yet. They kind of had to do it this way around. Oh, that R is the lock-on button. Okay. I was trying to click the right stick because of Dark Souls. <laughs> but that doesn't work. That's one. Okay, first proper area of the game. Copy that. You, you have a limited time each day to do things. It, it is, in a lot of ways, a time management game. And one of the things that makes Hey Pikmin pretty bad is that there's literally no clock in it. Oh uh, yeah, give me my Pikmin. Okay, we're gonna need some more going. Okay. Let's get looking around so I can't get up there just yet. Our, our first enemy is over there. That is a dwarf bulborb. It'll be fine if we do something like that and just kill it immediately. Uh, but they can hurt us, so we do need to be careful. Okay, so this area has a limit of 20 Pikmin at a time, rather than the usual 100. I'm guessing each area will have it different. Just so I can't spam Pikmin and basically cheese the whole thing. I believe these are pieces of a bridge? Something like a bridge? Oh, it's a crafting material. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hey. 
I'll take all of that. They were like bridge pieces that looked more or less like that in um, previous games, so I figured it might be parts of a bridge I need to build, but apparently not. It's a new thing. Down drawing is time management. One of the things you can do with walls is, uh, with Pikmin is have them punch walls like this. Naturally, it's faster if you have more Pikmin available. Hey, Primrose. What are you doing? I love it. We can only want to get all our pick picks back, so we just make sure everyone gets here safely. Oh, cool! There's a real-time lost Pikmin count. Okay, that that's really good. Um, I really hate losing any Pikmin, uh, so usually I restart the day if that happens. Uh, in most game, most of the previous games, it doesn't really tell you that until you finish the day, and it says, here's the report on what happened. This one, you can just pause, and it tells you lost Pikmin count, uh, which is great. That's, that's really nice. Okay, let's get everyone. Come on, everyone, let's go. I would send one of these hatches. Let's go, team. Down the hatch. Oh, interesting. Ice Pikmin. Okay, so this is probably the first proper cave in the game. In Pikmin 2, time pause when you're in a cave. We'll see if that happens in this one. I don't see the clock, so I'm guessing it still works that way. They might have done a lot of Pikmin 2e stuff because a lot of people like that game. Like me, for example. Okay, I see a treasure up there. Oh! 
Oh right, defeated creatures inside a cave rather than becoming more Pikmin become uh, money. Or in this game, sparkly, but it was money in Pikmin too. Hmm, the lack of swarming is still frustrating me, but so far I'm really liking this. A, a lot more so than I liked Pikmin 3, honestly. That's treasure. Looks like it automatically captures throwing. Like, I was just mashing the button there, and it only threw exactly seven Pikmin. Uh, I think that's a nice quality of life feature, because yeah, you would often throw way, way more than you needed in previous games. Oh, yeah, I'll have some of that. So this nectar, yeah, it does that. It upgrades your Pikmin into into flower form, uh, which is like their faster and fastest and best attack and all that stuff. So you really do want to do that as much as you can. A little, little bit of frame rate issues there, but lots of things. Okay, we're all flowered now, which is lovely. Okay, we got Ice Pikmin. Interesting. This is a new kind. They weren't in any previous game. Uh, two, two introduce purple and white Pikmin, and then three have uh, rock and flying Pikmin as the new types, outside of the main colours, three colours. But yeah, Ice Pikmin are new. Oh, okay, so they, they can, they can walk across water. Interesting. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I, I don't like losing any Pikmin. <laughs> it's very frightening to me. <laughs> We can make a shortcut, that sounds good. Yeah, it looks like when you're in a cave, just like in Pikmin 2, the time doesn't apply because I can't see a clock anywhere. And the interesting Pikmin colors have yellow flowers instead. Yep, that's the standard thing. Uh, and these, like, shortcut bridge thingies, which you can push down from above, uh, were a thing in Pikmin 3. I don't remember them in 2. I definitely still miss swarming. That was just such a nice thing to have. Things we can do are quite nice as well, though. I, mean, I am enjoying the way this game works a lot more than I did picking three. Once I have access to charge, which I don't right now, uh, it'll be a, a little less annoying, but I still prefer swarming over charge. So, I think that might be something alive. Oh, uh, maybe not? Hang on. Oh, it's treasure. 
bush is moving though. Hmm. Oh, hello. Another onion. Is this the one for Ice Pikmin? Looks kind of yellowy, so maybe not. Okay, the bush is just moving on, moving because it's a bit spooky. So there's nothing there. Onion acquired. I'm guessing that's the one for Ice Pikmin, just because that makes sense, given what we're doing here. These, these berries. Oh, I see. Y you've got to freeze it, and then you've got to attack it once it's frozen. Okay. Hydro jelly. Oh, right. It's like water, water based. So you fill up its freeze bar, and then once it's fully frozen, you can attack it with regular attacks. Okay. New friend? Oh, an engineer. Okay, so that, that's our crafting guy. Hello? I think I've done everything in this cave. Quite a small cave. Oh yeah, you can actually pause and say 100%. I've gotten everything that's in here. discovered. Director of Destiny, refreshing goo and some creatures. Neat. Uh, yep, nothing lost. Oh, the rescue command post is like a hub that doesn't count towards your time during the day. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay. The so time does pass underground, but it's not as fast. Okay.
Lolly. Oh, okay. Okay, so you have to upgrade your Pikmin limit uh, by finding extra onions. Interesting. That, that wasn't a thing before, so it's, it's neat that it's a thing now. Those eggs are probably nectar, which I don't need right now, so I'm just going to keep wandering on. You far from the SS Beagle? We sure are. I'm having to look around. Uh, you can dig in this, right? Mm. Oh, we need to be on the other side, right? I'll get to you in a bit. Fruit? That's a fruit. We're all okay, right? I don't think anyone died, but I'm just gonna check the status report. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we found, like, a plum or something? wonder what its fun name is going to be. Find out at the end of the day, I suppose. I'm missing someone? Ah, right. These guys had little... little, uh, bulb orbs. Way through the day. I mean, like halfway, not just partway. A specific part. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Yeah, let's keep going this direction. Uh, I saw one of those ice blowhog guys. Uh, and I have some ice proof picks we can use to. Oh, that's a fire one. Hang on. Oh, we've got to be careful with that. Ice picks don't immediately do damage. They just up the, the other bar. Okay. Can I throw high enough to hit that? I want a yellow Pikmin. You can throw yellows higher than other kinds of Pikmin. Yeah, I didn't seem to be able to throw high enough to hit that yet. Uh, looks like something I can maybe be able to dig in. Yeah, go have a look, little doggy. This way, I believe. Yeah, we already checked.
Oh, you can see some of the newer Pikmin are in like a budding state rather than actually being flowers. Goes like leaf and then bud and then flower. And naturally the flower one's the quickest. Oh, look, that's a bridge. Uh, I gotta fix that from the other side and then I'll have a shortcut. Hey, these re regrew. Yes. I'm not sure if these are uh, the Pikmin type is determined by like the color of the pellet, or if it's literally just who's carrying it. I think it might be the color of the pellet. Hmm, I'm not sure. It'll be- I, I'm, I'm having a little trouble with the controls. I think it'll be better once I have the charge button unlocked, but I definitely prefer the way swarming worked in Pikmin 1 and 2. I have said that already. Oh, interesting. They're actually losing their petals when they get chucked away. It did not work that way. Oh, new base unlocked. Oh, we can move the beagle. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Uh, move base. There. Now, uh... If you start pulling these around from here... There'll be way less distance to travel, because everything's nice and close. Very nice. Should be able to go over to here. Oh, we might want more pieces to fix the bridge or something. Mm. Yeah, we need to find more pieces of bridge to put them in place. Uh, that is a full-size adult ball ball. First one in the game. how you lock on. We are going to want to lock on so we can hit this thing as hard as possible, as quickly as possible, because, yeah, big size ball bulbs are quite, are quite dangerous. No! Oh, we lost a couple. I hate doing that. I, I, I won't restart just now because I'm doing a demo, but... When I'm playing the game for real, I'm definitely going to avoid that. I, I will restart a day if I fuck up like that. And yeah, this is the staple of Pikmin. When you get to this last section, it says hurry up and helps you track down your stray Pikmin. Anyone who anyone you haven't gotten by the time the end of the day ends uh, is lost. Just forever. They die. Are you on time? 
Wait a second. Yeah, do that. Where am I up to? Huh. Okay, so, um, rewinding time was not an option in the previous games. You could start a whole day over, you could not rewind a couple of minutes. That is an incredible quality of life improvement. Especially if you don't like having any Pikmin die, which is the case for me. I'm noticing some frame rate issues. I don't know if that's like a demo thing or if the game is just like that. That's how the game is just like that. I doubt they do that only in the demo. That'd be weird. Uh, apart from that, I am particularly loving this game compared to some of the other Pikmin. Uh, although I would like the charge ability to unlock, but I don't have to. I saw that already. On. Okay. Damn it. Okay. But you can just go minus and go... Is it like every three minutes it makes a little checkpoint? I still lost one. Not sure how much rewind it gives you. Okay, so you get this little regular save stating thing. But you don't control when it happens. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. I took a little damage myself, but that's fine. It's more if I, if I take damage. Standard pick an end of day music, which sounds like that. It's so sleepy. <laughs> okay, I've been playing for a, a hour and a half, so that's probably enough. Uh, I'm just going to see how they wrap up this first day. This might have been enough treasure for it to finish the demo, in which case I'll just go with that. If not, I'll, I'm going to stop the video anyway. Barkley and discovered. That is not enough treasure. <laughs> no Pikmin lost because I'm awesome. Also, I rewound the game twice. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. And that's the end of day report music, uh, which these games have. Very standard. Presumably getting to 1500 Sparklium is what you need to take the um, SS Shepherd somewhere else uh, and unlock like a new region or whatever. Oh, oh actually you got big. Does that mean he's rideable now? Oh, cute. So he gets experience points? Alright. Oh, so the raw material gets turned into the stuff to make bridges. Okay. Rather than just finding bridge pieces lying around. Interesting. Okay. We know time doesn't pass here, so we can just have a look around. Who is at the lab? Oh, okay. I can unlock charging by buying the horn. The scrummy bone. Okay, so... Uh, I can heal up Oachi by giving one of those. The emergency kit. Ah, uh, okay. So you can get yourself or you can get Oachi like an extra life, basically. 
Uh, I will have the charging horn. Okay. And yeah, time doesn't pass here, so I can have a better look around. See if there's anything else of interest. Doesn't seem like you can get out of this little, this little clearing. Probably by design. Two. Rachi skills, five out of something. Okay, so I can level up Buff so that he has the strength of more than three Pikmin. Goes to five or ten. Come. It doesn't tell me exactly what it does, but I presume it gives him more attack. Uh, make Rush charge up a bit faster. Uh, and also make it hit harder. Neat. Big doesn't get any upgrades. Healing. Yeah, that's good. That's just like health regen, lots of things. Uh, he knows how to smell things. Go to your base, sort of call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. Get lost, you see more of them. You can gather Pikmin for you. Also, he'll go and pluck them. Oh, it rounds up any stray Pikmin. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's really cool. Uh... No. Okay. We might not be able to backtrack there, it might just not be necessary. I don't know. Is the limit 30 here as well, or is it different? Yep, 30 here as well. Okay. Okay, um, there's a new app thing installed or something. Ooh, hello. Oh, I see. You can actually unequip stuff if you don't want to be using it. And you can look at uh, how your doggy's leveled up. ID badges, so I can look at everyone else. What they can do. Oh, I and mean, I can go and uh, immediately jump to what they do with the visit option by the looks of things. That's good. Uh, missions. Yeah, we looked at this already. We've got some side missions now. Cool. The rescue journal is just like uh, a tutorial section sort of thing. The voyage log seems to be fairly similar, except it's like a bit more about how things work. Alright. Uh, status report. That's just what's happening right now. History and stats. Okay, so that summarizes what I've been doing in terms of the story. Then there's the message log, story stats. Uh, is there anything that shows me the treasure I've been finding? Because that seems to be something I haven't found yet. It might be on a different screen, it might be on here somewhere. Uh, it doesn't seem to be.
It's possible you just can't get to it in the demo, but there would normally be a section where you can review all the stuff you've found. Uh, like a, a... I think the game usually calls it a Piclopedia. Uh, but I'm not seeing one here. It might just be something I can't unlock yet because it's the demo. Anyway, um, so that's the demo of Pikmin 4 I've been playing here. Um, I really like it. <laughs> it's using treasures again, like Pikmin 2 did, which I think was the most interesting way of, um, providing objectives in these games. Uh, you've got a little doggy, which is super cute. Uh, having a rewind time button is an incredible improvement to the Pikmin, Pikmin series, especially, uh, if you really want to do a no Pikmin lost sort of playthrough, which is... Pretty much what I do every time, so it makes the game dramatically less frustrating because you only need to give give up a few minutes of gameplay rather than an entire day. Uh, and it looks like there probably isn't an overall time limit, which I like. Uh, Pikmin 2 didn't really have a time limit either, uh, but Pikmin 1 and 3 did. Pikmin 1 had a hard time limit before your life support ran out. Pikmin 3 had like a soft time limit based on how much fruit juice you'd collected. Uh, because the amount of fruit in the game is finite, and if you didn't have food to eat, then you couldn't, uh, continue the next day, basically. Uh, and this one, yeah, I'm not seeing a time limit at all, so maybe it doesn't have one. Like this one too, which also didn't have one. Which is promising. Um, I do wish swarming were an option. Uh, like, if I, if I'd been designing this game, uh, I would have put, like, thing in the settings here but you can say I would like to swarm with the right stick please rather than forcing you to use the same controls as the other games um how does it look <laughs> yeah so switching it to quick doesn't seem to do much of anything so I don't know what difference that makes. It might be that hold, when you hold down the button, you have to hold it for less time or something. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Apart from the lack of swarming, which is one of my favourite parts of the controls in classic, in the older Pikmins and the GameCube games, I love this. <laughs> uh, it, it's definitely vibing with me a lot more than Pikmin 3 did. Uh, and I'm probably going to pick this one up because I am really... Uh, I would like to see a uh, Piclopedia where you can look at the treasures you've collected and get like a description of what the ship thinks they're for. Because that was a thing uh, in Pikmin 2 and that was really funny. As well as giving them goofy names, you also got like a just a guess about what they were supposed to be for, which is completely wrong. Which was cute. Um, I'm guessing that is in the game. I just can't see it because this is the demo. Uh, but I could be wrong. Um, oh, I really like that your first character in this game is your OC for some reason. That's just adorable. Uh, I'm guessing from the fact that you only have switch between you and the dog here that you get two squads. Uh, Pikmin 3 actually gave you the opportunity to have three of them. There were three playable characters, and each one could do be, be doing something separately. Uh, whereas Pikmin 2 had two squads, like this one seems to, so... They may have decided that three was just a bit too much to keep track of, given how this game works, but... I don't know. I don't think it's a huge uh, detriment or anything to only have access to two, because the game is presumably built around that. Um, what else? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I definitely think having a rewind time option rather than just start day over is a, a dramatic improvement. And I'm really glad that it works that way.
Uh, and I think that's cool. Oh, also, this is an 8. I'm not sure how useful it is, but uh, I'm just tilting my controller right now. And you can, like, have your aim go around with the, with the whistle and possibly other things when you do that. Oh yeah, you can do it. I'm holding A now in order to throw a Pikmin, and you can see I'm aiming just by tilting the controller there too. I think that was a thing in Pikmin 3, but it, it can be nice to have a bit more precision than an analog stick gives you. Which is the same reason that bows work like that in Breath of the Wild, for example. Anyway, uh, that's Pikmin 4 as a demo. I like it. Uh, there seems to be some sun coming onto my mon onto my webcam now. You can see a bit of glare. Um, there we go. Stick my hand in front of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty much done anyway. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm probably going to pick up this game. Uh, because, yeah, I am liking it a lot more than I like Pikmin 3. And I still got that because it was Pikmin and I like Pikmin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one is, is really promising, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Uh, cool. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!